you stop eating meat, it won't change the warming effect of the world. No, you know, because... Can I start with how old are you girls? I'm 14. 14. 14. 14. Okay. And um, you just looked at this. Uh, did you see any of the footage or did you just look from a distance? Uh, just look from a distance. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what it's about? Yeah, it's about animal rights. Okay. And what do you think about animal rights? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think animals deserve rights? Yeah. 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 Okay. And how far how far does that go? Until when do we stop giving animal rights? Like, um, I think, yeah, I think you can't, um, yeah, cause you, <laughs> you can't uh, slap them or some. Or you hurt can't them. hit them, hurt yeah, them. You no. Can't do that. <laughs> but I, them, yeah. Small. Is there a justification for killing them and torch, like, putting them basically? Because what we're doing now, like, 99% of our meat comes from factory farming, mm -hmm. which. Uh, we might know somebody who knows somebody who is a farmer who treats his animals really well, but the majority of animals, 99% that we eat, come from factory farms, which basically means that they're stuck in little cages, they're basically enslaved and exploited. So this treatment of enslavement and exploitation and afterwards killing them, can we justify this? No. no. So are your girls vegan? No. no. <laughs> But it's not bad to eat yeah, meat. Because, it, yeah, because the animals meat, are, are, are killed already. But, yeah. um, I, I do eat meat, but I think the animals deserve better. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I don't think that if we don't eat meat, yeah, the that the whole result. world is yeah. going to stop different. eating meat. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you, you would basically say that, um, that just because one single person does it, it won't change anything? No. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. But if you look at an ocean, an ocean is basically made up out of drops and out of many drops. So it's a similar thing. Like, if many people, if many single persons would stop um, uh, eating meat, it would change and it would slowly yeah, yeah. affect yeah, change. Yeah, yeah but you, yeah. You, and you can, if you haven't, if you, <laughs> <laughs> but you have still got people who uh, eat do meat. eat. Yeah, you don't, don't have to stop uh, eating meat. You can slow it down. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Um, why can you? Why is it okay to eat meat? Then? Um, there, it's does it. Is it good? Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, 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 it is delicious. Yeah, yeah. If, yeah, yeah. Uh, and what is good about it? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, protein. Yeah, protein. Yeah, protein. That's what everybody's <laughs> basically saying. And uh, do you think cholesterol is good for you? No. No. And saturated fats? So if you look at meat, for example, you basically get a full package and we only focus on the protein it's got, but we don't look at the cholesterol or the saturated fats. In reality, if we look at science, science uh, proves now, in because in the past uh, ideology was different, but now science evolves and science is proving now over and over and over again that uh, meat is actually really unhealthy for us. And uh, red meat and processed meat, last year the World Health Organization that's the organization responsible for human health, basically. Uh, they announced that red meat and processed meat are a class uh, one carcinogen, which means it gives you cancer, just like asbestos or smoking. Mm -hmm. So if we don't need meat because in order to be healthy, um, is there another justification we can justify for putting all the animals through what we're putting them through and killing them? So if you think about it in that way, would that uh, would you consider going vegan? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I, I think I think you have a point because well, you say it's unhealthy and um, uh -huh. we don't actually need it. But, uh, yeah, but it's yeah. healthy for them. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. And so yeah. yeah. I don't know. I so. <laughs> yeah. And and we are already vegan, used to yeah. eat meat. Yeah. 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 But what do you think of this? So I think it's a good thing to uh, that from time to time these events uh, happen because people don't realize uh, what they are in the plate and they are very happy about their meals. But uh, in fact, be behind of all of this, it's a uh, long suffering. Yeah. And uh, I think it's a good thing to... Okay. Uh, how do you feel personally about eating animals? I don't eat animals. From are you a vegetarian? 
Yes, I only f eat fish, I have to admit, and uh, seashells, but uh, not very often. But I renounced to, to eat meat uh, eight years ago, I think. Yeah. Um, why are you still eating fish? Is it still... Let's say I'm a, a little bit hypocrite. <laughs> now, I, also fish can suffer, but um, from time to time I still, I, I still eat them. Do you think taste is more important than uh, life or ethics? No, no but, but taste, taste <laughs> me, <laughs> it makes life great. So, uh, <laughs> for you or for the animal? For me. <laughs> Uh, but the animals are already dead, so... Yeah. yeah, but they have to get breeded and put it through all of that and yeah, get killed just because you want to have this great sensible pleasure. And that's basically then the question. Do you think the, the life of an animal is more important than your uh, food? Or do you think your food is more important, your taste is more important um, than, your, th than the life of another animal? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but <laughs> no, we are also I animals. Don't, I don't think yeah. that's selfish, but yeah, it's selfish, yeah. but I think yeah. yeah. But I'm still like, if we are, if we go fetching, you yeah. know, I don't no. know. I don't think it would change anything. Yeah, the animals are but already killed, right? So why wouldn't you eat it? Then? Yeah, it yeah, but it won't taste anything. Yeah, but in the end, it's a request and demand system, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's like if I want to eat this, if I go to the supermarket and I would buy every day this certain product eventually if everybody starts doing that the supermarket will buy more of this product and less yeah. of the other yeah. so yeah, yeah. in the end we are paying for everything that's happening to the animals we would be responsible for for what's happening so if we choose every single day to buy meat just because it's tasty and because it's already out there only thing we are saying is that we would like this to continue we would like to support yeah. this and we agree with yeah. this but if we just don't buy meat at the supermarket, the animals have died for nothing. No, they would have yeah. died for a reason that the future generation wouldn't have gone through all this this suffering and everything. The animals that are dead are already yeah, dead, yeah. so we can't do anything about those. No. But we can change the future by by saying, okay, well, we stop this, this uh, insanity, because if we don't need it for our health, if we would need it for our health, it would be a justification for us to say, okay, we need to eat animals. like. A lion eats animals because he needs it. He's a carnivore. We are not carnivores. So we can choose. So we make the choice truly whether we want to support that or not. Yeah. And that won't change today, but it will change tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, that's Did you yeah. ever think about that? Yeah. Well, yeah, you, have, yeah. you have a point. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's for me, for example, I was vegan, I was a meat eater only six months ago and then I stumbled upon on YouTube you have a lot of vegan uh, movies and, and people promoting this so uh, the, the moment I, I, I realized all these these things uh, that it's not good for my health that it's not good for the animals and I love animals I don't want to hurt them because I don't see a reason to then why would I do that and then on top of that did you ever hear about the global uh, like the, the global warming effect of uh, agriculture did you know that uh, the meat industry is responsible for more than 50% of global warming? No, no. I didn't know that. <laughs> but, yeah, <no. laughs> I think there are um, a lot of industries, and I, I don't know if that's really... Yeah. yeah no, no. If it's true, you mean? No, 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 I, I believe you, but it's more like, um, I don't think that if we stop eating meat, it won't change the warming effect of the world, no, you know, because there are a yeah, lot of yeah. industries. Okay. Yeah. It's not the time. So basically, it might sound a bit rude what I'm saying now, from time to time, it's you, you think it's okay to make someone suffer? I don't think it's okay, but I admit it and yeah. I do it, so... Okay, okay. That's, that's fair. And that's then just a taste thing or just Sorry. because you, that's the taste thing, that's just because you enjoy it or...? Um, you know, it was after I renounced eating meat, it was uh, quite difficult for me to eat just vegetables and to, to prepare new food. And from time to time, it's for the proteins and uh, and also I like the, the taste. I, yeah. Why I, did you stop eating meat? Well, because I realized uh, what happened, uh, yeah. what I have in my plate, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm a, I'm a vet and uh, at that time I was in uh, vet school and uh, we, we, we looked some mo at some movies and at that time I realized that... Yeah, I understand that, okay. Yeah. I don't really like dead birds because, I don't know, they just fear me a little bit. Yeah. I just, they're just pretty disgusting dead. And